Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aquarius, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today, Aquarius. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the Patreon soul family gang gang. I appreciate each and every one of you all. And welcome back, Aquarius, to the ones that are new here. It is an honor and a pleasure to have each and every one of you all here as well. All right. This week, we are focusing in on the color orange. Yes, we're focusing in this week on our sacral chakra, all right, which helps us to be creative, all right, standing in our power here and definitely manifesting, all right? So definitely, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Keep up with the mute community tab. That is where I do post Aquarius, the new colors that we transition to each week on this platform as well. All right. And shout out to the ones that are new here. Welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, part of family. And be sure to adjust your notification bell, Aquarius, for when I go live on this platform. I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings. If you would love to stop by and get a check-in before you get your day there started, all right? So first, we're going to start with an orange card here for my Rebel deck here, just to get a message while we're utilizing the color orange this week. Then we're going to dive into your love life here, see what's coming towards you with the tarot deck. And we'll finish up with the raw tarot deck here that I created to see how this person and the energies that are surrounding you Aquarius at this time, all right? So let no further ado, let's dive on in here. Wow, we have you are the best thing to ever happen to you. Wow, beautiful message here. I'll take this myself, okay? You are the best thing, Aquarius, to ever happen to you, all right? Let me say that for the ones in the back. You are the best thing, Aquarius, to ever happen to you. Beautiful energy here. Go easy on your ass, Aquarius. Buy your own damn drink, okay? Beautiful. I love these cards. They're so funny and so fun, okay? But definitely, my loves, I feel like this card is just giving you the message to appreciate you more often. Give yourself a pat on the back here, Aquarius, and know that you are the best thing to ever happen to you, all right? Don't take that slightly, okay? Definitely do for you and don't forget about you, okay? All right, beautiful message there. All great way to start out your reading here today, Aquarius. So no further ado, let's dive into your love life and see what's coming towards you for love. Wow, look at there. The Ace of Cups, Aquarius. This is water elements here. This talks about a brand new beginning of love with someone or something, okay? Something that's going to make you very happy here and fulfill you on an emotional level here, okay? Rather, this is the universe that's granting you this new beginning of love here, Aquarius, or someone particular here that wants to have a brand new beginning of love with you here, okay? Some of y'all, this could be a water sign here, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio there. Wow, beautiful. Congratulations in future events. And I feel like this is what's going to come apart of the best thing for you. All right, let's see what else here. Wow, the devil cards here, Capricorn energy. All right, some of y'all, this particular person could be a Capricorn. All right, others of you all, this could be a background from coming from this type of lifestyle or these type of relationships here. This could even have been a past marriage here of yours, Aquarius, or your persons here, all right? And now that they have moved forward from their past here, this type of low frequency vibration energy, they're now going towards a beginning of new love with someone or again or something. Wow, beautiful energy here, Aquarius, so far here. This definitely giving me a reflection of either your past here and where you came from from these type of frequency and vibrations where they were overwhelming 
obstacles, challenges, but now you have pushed through. And now the universe is granting you unconditional love here, Aquarius, okay? Know that and believe that, okay? Yeah, look at that. We got the Ace of Swords here. Wow, I wanted to say the Eight of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is going to be very significant as well. This is air element here. This is your energy here with the air element with the swords. All right. This could also be a Gemini here for others of you all, Aquarius or a Libra here or Aquarius like yourself that you may exchanging energies here with. All right. But the Ace of Swords we know talks about bringing in clarity, information that's going to clear up a situation and the truth. Okay. So some of you all, you're going to be getting some clarity from this person from your past here. All right. We know the Eight of Swords have always talked about being stuck in a situation where you're not happy, you're not content. You're not feel like you are evolving and becoming a better version of yourself. This card also talks about being guilty and having regrets and being disappointed overall in a situation or a circumstance here that no longer resonates for you, Aquarius. So I definitely picked the energy up here of some of you all feeling, you know, hurt, of course, behind this situation from your past and how it has led you to always feel stuck as if you were not going to be able to go towards any type of beginnings in the future because of the past hurt, pain, regrets, and disappointments of yourself, and not only yourself, but the outcome of the results of the relationships that you have received over time here. But your guardian angels and your ancestors here want you to know, Aquarius, that you have a new unconditional opportunity of love headed your way. So no more will you end up in toxic relationships and feeling like you're being held down by your ego or the devil energy of your lower self or anyone that is trying to keep you stuck in a relationship or a connection where you know you don't belong here okay wow very interesting reading here for you today loves i'm gonna close out here with again my raw tarot deck that i created for you all i want to see how the energies that are surrounding you at this time how do they feel that you are now deciding to move forward to your or this could also be vice versa, your person here and what they are currently experiencing and deciding to move forward towards as well. So again, definitely take it how it resonates for you, Aquarius. Let's go ahead and get more insight here before we close out. And again, I am available for personal reading, Aquarius. If you would love to stop by and book a personal reading with me, all that information loves is down below in the description box, my loves, all right? So let's see how this person here feels. Let's see what they want to say at this time regarding this situation or circumstance here for who this is so far resonating with here. Wow, we have, I can't stop thinking about you, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. So this particular person here cannot stop thinking about you. They think about you a lot here, okay? Wow, we have, he lied to me, okay? So this could be very significant here. This could be referencing to the Ace of Swords that I heard channel out through my consciousness of some type of truth, the clarity that's going to come in from someone that possibly lied to you in the past here, whether this is a he or she here, someone here lied in this situation and was not being honest here, is why we have this card of feeling guilty here with the Eight of Swords as well. Then we have nighttime here, okay, Aquarius. Nighttime could be very significant here for someone as well. You may have communicated with this person at nighttime, or this person thinks about you a lot at nighttime here, all right? Wow, we have I want to come over here. Okay, so someone definitely wants to come over here, possibly around nighttime, or maybe this person would always come over at nighttime here. Someone definitely wants to come in and communicate here with you, Aquarius, okay? Wow, yeah, we have I'm walking away, done. Okay, so someone here looks like they're finally deciding to walk away from this situation or this circumstance here. And then, wow, we have she lied to me, okay? So not only he lied to me, she lied to me. For some of y'all, there were several different individuals here that were trying to intervene in this relationship or connection here with you and this particular person here. Yeah, look at that. It's more to this story, okay? Wow, so there's definitely more to the story here that is going to be said. That's why we did hear, or I, however, heard in my consciousness here, the Ace of Swords. So you're definitely going to be getting some clarity and some truth. I feel like 
that's going to clear things up for not only you but this person here so that way you two can both move forward in peace here aquarius all right wow very significant reading here today again definitely if the reading here is resonating for you thank you so much for listening in i appreciate you definitely be sure to adjust your notification bell for when i go live on this platform i look forward to hearing from you all there as well and also subscribe again my loves we would love to have you here aquarius a part of our soul family as well all right thank you all take care and i definitely shall chit chat with you all soon Mwah. bye bye